I'm a huge advocate for WordPress, but I also understand WordPress is not right for everyone. What if I don't know how to build my own website? As they say, there's a plugin for that. Welcome to the journey. Today, we're gonna to help you decide if you should use Website Builder or WordPress. All right, Neely, so as you know, I already have a website, but I get asked all the time from local businesses, what type of website should I build for my business? Yeah, it's a pretty common question. And as you know, I'm a huge advocate for WordPress, but I also understand WordPress is not right for everyone, which is why we're really gonna break this down and help you decide, should you use WordPress or should you use a website builder? Now, it really helps to understand what type of website do you want to create? Like what, what features do you want on the site? Mm -hmm. And what do you mean by that? So the cool thing with some of the website builders nowadays is they're getting super competitive with the WordPress atmosphere, yeah. right? So those website builders have those email marketing tools. It has some user login, it has mm -hmm. blogs, it has all these things, but they're still a little bit limiting. If you find yourself needing just your own flexibility to do whatever you want, you don't like being put in a sandbox, you can only play in that sandbox, then that's where you really want to look into WordPress because WordPress has tons of plugins that just open up the just the, the, the amount of things Some you more can flexibility. do. Some more flexibility. Yeah, you can yeah. do literally whatever you want. As they say, there's a plugin for that. So that's what you want to keep in mind is, is they're probably going to have some of the same features. It's just how much control do you want over those features mm -hmm. and then how much time do you have to learn? Mm -hmm. Okay, that helps break down the features, but what if, and I'm sure you're asking this at home, what if I don't know how to build my own website? Yeah. Technical yeah. skills. Super common question. And website builders, if you need something just quick and dirty, like I just need to get a site built right now, website builders all day. They make it super easy. They're very visual. It's usually drag and drop or plug in place, like a Lego type style builder mm -hmm. where you can get your site up and running, which is super helpful, right? Bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> right. And now WordPress on the other hand, it's there's a lot more options because you get to play out of the sandbox, you can do whatever you want, but every plugin, every theme, everything you do has has more options and more things to mess with and different features you have to just learn in general. Got it. So it gets a little bit more technical. Okay. So if you have the patience to, to learn something new or the technical ability, then that's definitely it. And hey, if you don't want to do it at all, you could hire a pro. So next up, websites built. Got that done. Now what? Is it set it and forget it? Or do I need to continue managing the site? It depends. And it depends on what you ended up going with. It's like website builders, they're the, the power of those are they're, mm -hmm. as you say, they're low main. Or low main is for normal people. <laughs> right? You they make it super easy just to build a site and have it there. Now I would recommend you continue to add content mm -hmm. because Google does like content on your site. But as far as just technical maintenance stuff like that, it's not a problem. WordPress, on the other hand, it's what's called an open source application. So that means everyone contributes to it. There's updates, there's things that they have to do. Mm -hmm. So you have to, every now and then, I recommend at least checking in once or twice every two weeks, something like that, and okay. update your themes and plugins. Those updates help either patch a vulnerability, it helps improve features, or it just makes your site faster. So as you know, like I'm a huge advocate for WordPress. So my mom started a business a few years ago. What's doing, the business? Doing uh, auto detailing and paint protection foam. Oh, wow. So again, cool. huge advocate for WordPress. I'm like, Ma, yeah. you've got to be on WordPress. Get this going. Here's some, here's some basics. She's like, OK. So she starts, right? Mm -hmm. And she gets going. And then I check on her like two weeks later, like, how's it going? And she's like, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's way too much for me. I'm right where you me. She's never built a site. She's never done anything. Now there are tools to help make WordPress easier, like Beaver Builder, or Elementor, Divi, or even Gutenberg, the, the new builder inside of it. But sometimes it's just too much. And yeah. I overestimated uh, the ability of, of a first time user because she was busy running her site. She had no time to learn. Totally. Right. So a website builder for someone that has a business that has no time that just needs something up to, to showcase her work, mm -hmm. it was a better fit. So again, huge advocate for WordPress, but I know it's not right for everyone. Wow, you really steered her in the wrong direction. Sorry, Ma. <laughs> All right, I really hope this helps you decide whether or not if WordPress is right for you or a website builder is right for you. Now, if you have any other comments, I get it. It's kind of get a little gray area. 
Let us know what your questions are in the comments below and we'll give you an answer. Also, be sure to like the video and share it because you know there's others out there with the same dilemma and the same questions. Be sure to subscribe and don't forget, ring that bell so you'll be the first to know about upcoming videos. This is The Journey.